This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 310. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the Chapter 3 Supplemental Problems on page 10. Given this circuit, could you solve for the current I sub x by Nortonizing the part of the circuits that's in the yellow box? If you recall, the Norton equivalent circuit is a two-step process. First remove the load, and then find the current in the short circuit from terminals A to B, and then look back into those terminals with all the independent sources set equal to zero, that would be these two, and find the equivalent resistance. Let's do the first step. Putting a short circuit between terminals A and B, removing the 5 ohm resistor and the 4 amp source, let's find the current in this short circuit. A lot of ways you could do this, let's do a source transformation, we'll have just a one loop circuit. So 4 times 2 is 8, the plus sign is going to be where the arrow is pointing, and in series with that a 4 ohm resistor. Find the current in this direction, I'll try to find the voltage that would make the current go this way. Again, I could combine voltage sources. Let me slide this one over to this one. I have a minus to plus 8, and then a plus to minus 12. That would give me a net voltage plus to minus this way of 12 minus 8. I want to find the current in this direction, which would mean I would need to know the voltage going with this polarity, which would actually be a minus 4 volts. So that divided by the total resistance of 10 ohms would give me the current. That's minus 400 milliamps. Setting all the independent sources equal to zero, I'm going to short circuit the battery, open circuit the current source, and look back into those terminals A and B. I just see the 6 in series with the 4, so that's 10 ohms. Let's put this back together now. We have a Norton current pointing in this direction of a minus 400 milliamps, or you could put it the other way as a plus 400 milliamps in parallel with 10. And then I have my original circuit load, which was a resistor in parallel with the current source. So when current sources are in parallel, you can add them if they're pointing in the same direction. So let's take it, this going as 4 amps this way and a minus 0.4 amps in this direction. So the total would be then 4 minus 0.4. And then I form a current divider. Some current goes here, some goes here. And if I want the current in this one, I could take the other resistance over the sum of the two. That was our resistive current divider. And that's the expression over here. And when I'm getting 3.6 times 10 over 15, and that's 2.4. Although we're doing more steps with the Norton equivalent circuit, many of them are very simple because of the short circuit in this case, or in setting things equal to zero. And this is supplemental problem 310.